Hey guys and welcome back to part two of my Minecraft beginner's guide tutorial. Thank you so much for watching the last video and liking it if you did so. I hope you enjoy this video just as much if not more. In today's video we will be learning some pretty cool stuff. First of all we're going to cover how to enable your coordinates. This will be really helpful when not only going on a diamond hunt going exploring in which you might need to find your way back to your house. So if you click on your options button which is in the top right hand side of your remote controller on a PlayStation 4, you press X on the settings. Now it will give you a big list of things that you can go on. On the left hand side you've got your list, you want to stay on the game section, move your scroller to the right and scroll down. Now here you can see I'm scrolling down the page. So you want to get to the point where it says show coordinates and you just want to press the X button. When you press this, if you now press circle and circle again, on the top left hand side of the screen you can see where it says position 156-63-16. So these are your coordinates and they're quite simply known as the X, Y, Z coordinates. So, X is the first one, Y is the middle one, Z is the third one. To find lapis, to find redstone, to find diamonds, anything like that, you wanna get your Y coordinates to 12. If we go down by one block, it goes to 62. If we go up by one block, it goes to 63. Up by another, 64. Down by one, 63. Down by one, 61. You get the drift. When you enable your coordinates, write them down on a post-it note. That way, when you do get lost, all you have to do is look at your coordinates. You then home, happy days. Alternative to that, what you can do is make a map or a locator map. As you can see here, anything you can make is in gray. Anything you can make is in red. If you go on one of the red things, in the right hand side of the screen, it tells you exactly what you need in order to make it. You will need sugar canes. We take them to our little crafting table here and you can make paper. Now we're going to make an empty map. This takes nine sheets of paper. Once you've made an empty map, you want to get some redstone and some iron ingot and you want to make a compass. This is made with redstone and ingots. Good job. Now we've got the two, what we can also do is head to the crafting table once again. Now it gives you the option to make an empty locator map. Hey, there we go. So what you want to do, once you've got your locator map in your hand, you want to click L2 to use it. Once you click L2, you'll see a little map like so, and you can go off doing your little exploring. The little white dot that you can see, kind of central a bit to the right and a bit down to the bottom, doesn't make any sense, but you know what I mean. This little thing that's moving is you, it's your little locator. So with your compass on your map, ah, you can see you're moving. What you can also do is you can click on your triangle button. You can put your locator map in your off hand position so it's easier to walk around and do stuff and see. And you can also use tools while you're doing so. Happy days. You've now got your map and you can go off and do your exploring. I also want to show you another little handy tip. Make your life a little bit easier during your game. The next tip is enabling the cheats. What you do is you go to your top right hand side of your remote where it says options. You go on your settings. When this loads you want to stick on the game, slide across to your right and then go down. You go past the point in which it says show coordinates because we've already enabled them. So keep going down. You get to another section that is titled cheats. You press X to activate. If you enable your cheats, you won't get your trophies, which I mean, some people are interested in that side of it, other people not so much. 
cheats are now activated you can scroll down and make it always day you can re-enable and disable like so you can even just always day if you want to take it off take it off that way so you can do different things on cheats but what I would highly recommend is making it daytime all the time that way if you want to build a massive house you can do so without being blown up by a creeper 24 7. <laughs> Take Poochie for example. Poochie would have liked it to be daytime wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Poochie 1.0? Yep. True day it. Hi Poochie. Want some bread? You don't like bread do you? Get you some rotten flesh. Yes, I know. You love it. You should do yourself get down to you. Oh, by the way, guys, um, in the last episode, unfortunately, Poochie got blown up by a creeper. We have been out and found another dog. Very cute, I know. Can't quite replace the, uh, the, the brokenness in our heart of Poochie. But then again, <sighs> we shall try. So what you want to do is you want to dig a stair farmer. I'll just briefly show you. So one, two, three, four, five, six in front, and then another four there, and then two here, and then you want to start all over again. So you dig like this, and then you dig down, making sure there's always two blocks here, two blocks there. You don't necessarily have to do two blocks, you could just do one block at a time. But I always prefer to do two, that way you've got a lot more space to work with. So you could do one block at a time, which would look more like this. Oh, hello lava. So as you can see here, I've managed to find lava. I'm nowhere near Y coordinate 12. But there is lava here, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a block exactly where that lava is. So your little target symbol in the middle of the screen, you want to point it in the middle of these blocks where the lava is coming from and just click L2. This will stop all the lava so you can get past it. Uh oh, it will also make everything very, very dark, which I forgot to mention. Lava is obviously very bright and lights everything up so we have found a massive underground cave which is cool very cool and lots and lots of iron this is iron this iron can be found pretty much anywhere it doesn't have to be a specific coordinate you find it anywhere it's like coal coal's the same this is coal, you need lots of coal because you will need to melt, for example, your iron. Uh-oh. 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 Leave me alone. Whew, it's a close call. Oh my god, it sounds like there's more of them. Oh my god. Oh, it's got a baby one on it, it's gonna kill me. Dude, it's gonna kill me. These baby ones are so fast. Why is it running away from me? Oh, they're so creepy. What? Ow! Oh no, I died! <laughs> Evil little... So what you're going to want to do is go as quick as you possibly, possibly can in order to get back to your stuff before it disappears. Okay. Good job. Found all my stuff. None of it has disappeared, which is always good. Okay, good job. So before I was so rudely interrupted by that little baby zombie attacking me. Oh my god. Oh my goodness.
gonna want to leave loads of lights as like a reminder of where to go back up okay what is this place I have found okay so this appears to be some form of a spawner it's a zombie spawner Aha! that's pretty cool now with the spawner as far as I'm aware if you put a light on top of it it stops everything from being spawned but I don't know whether that's actually a true fact or not a true fact so I'm just going to leave it and see whether anything is spawned from there so let's see whether anything else has spawned okay so no other zombies have spawned yet let's see what they've got in the chest Ooh, hello gunpowder gunpowder's cool you can uh, make some pretty cool stuff with it coal always handy to have string love it a bucket definitely handy to have if you can fill it with water and then pour it over a still lake of lava you can make obsidian which is awesome bones make dogs your friend yes please string yes please bread like it name tag awesome and a gold horse armor you basically put your armor on a horse and it makes it your friend should i break this or should i keep the candle on it Ooh, i don't know i'm gonna leave it there to be fair i'd be intrigued to break it and see what actually happens but i don't want to <laughs> I know I said I wasn't going to break this, but I really want to break it, to be fair. So, I'm going to break it. Ooh, it dropped loads of XP, and I would say it dropped a candle, but I'll put the candle on top of it. <laughs> Duh. Uh, I don't think it did. It just dropped a load of XP. Oh, there's a ridiculous amount of uh, <laughs> zombies down here, but they're actually all stuck, so this is pretty funny. We're just going to attack them all down there. Oh, they're really angry but they're so stupid to get themselves stuck so i'm just gonna kill them all <laughs> and you yeah yeah you don't like it do you huh you just kicked my butt so i'm gonna kick your butt oh no she did uh oh place that block back <laughs> sucker What are you doing? Oh, he didn't put much of a fight, did he? Okay, as you can see, the Y coordinates are getting whoa, very, very close to 12, and it's a massive underground cave, which is sick. So, quite straightforward. If you want to find diamonds, just do something like this. And before you know it, you'll be at diamond level. We're at level 29 now. And it just keeps going down and down and down. Let me just see where we can get down to diamond level. Okay. If you're doing this, oh, whoa, I can see lava, baby. Um, if you're doing like a stair format but you haven't really got anything to go off if you look on the wall where my um, cross is on my screen you can see like black square outline so if you're doing a stair format you don't want to put your block here you want to put it like a little bit further down like there and then you want to dig 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 oh pickaxe broke wow I can see right down there loads of lava which is amaze balls. That's what we want. So now what we're going to do is that is a very very big drop. Whatever you do when you're uh, digging like this, make sure you don't fall because it will hurt. You will die, and you won't be able to get to your stuff quick enough in order for it to not all disappear. 
also make sure you keep it well lit up so you can see where you're going so now we're at level 21 which still you want to get to approximately level 12 I'd say is best when digging always always remember do not dig above your head or directly below your feet if you do the chance of you dying increases by like a hundred So that's all from me today. Um, join us on the next episode to do a diamond hunt and a revealing of our little level 12 mining. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. And yeah, see you next time.